What's your musical background before Frank Zappa? That's the uh, first big question I like to uh, pose here. Well, in my uh, world of music, I really believe that I came out of the womb singing and beating. I mean, I, I was musical from the gate. Everything is was music to me. Uh, my literal musical background is first in classical music. Although I wanted to take piano lessons when I was five, my brother and sister were taking. And the woman that was teaching them said that I had to wait till I was eight. And at five, I was mimicking the method books that, you know, my sister and brother were taking from. I could play it way better than they could. But I had to wait till I was eight. And then when I was eight, and they said, you have to take piano now, Tommy, it's time. I didn't want to take lessons. <laughs> but I took them anyway until I was in high school, uh, you know, learning the classical repertoire of that, you know, like Mozart, Chopin, Bach, Handel, um, some Beethoven, you know, this smattering of classical music. But when I got to high school and started playing bands, then I stopped music until I graduated from high school and decided to go into music as a career. And I learned four pieces to get into a conservatory, and then I really started learning classical music. Then I learned all the war horses, you know, everything that was the most difficult piece to play. and just So it really is a classical background. But I was always playing by ear too at the same time so I picked up a lot of uh, I assimilated a lot of styles just by my ear just listening to records I was very influenced by the animals by the Beatles um, by Art Tatum uh, Bella Bartok was a big influence on me and then I uh, graduated from a conservatory and just started playing solo piano, some, you know, classical music and uh, jazz, basically. Chick was a big in influence on me, too. Uh, how old uh, were you when you uh, learned to read? I really, I mean, read I Read more than classical, yeah, especially. I, I was uh, 16 when I learned how to read. I had, as I said, a very good ear, so in grammar school, if you told me something, how it went, I would sort of look at the page and listen to what you did and sort of read it. But when I went to a conservatory is when I learned how to read music, really learned how to read music. So you have a perfect pitch? Yes, mm -hmm. I acquired perfect pitch. Yeah. I always had excellent relative pitch, Yeah. but I acquired perfect pitch. Because they say that uh, it varies what kind of p perfect pitch you can have. So there's a variety of perfect yes. pitches. Mm -hmm. So what's your type of perfect pitch? Well, since mine is acquired perfect pitch, I wasn't born with it. I had excellent relative pitch. Uh, many times it is affected by how I'm feeling. Like if I have a cold, I'll hear flat. I'll think that's an A flat and it's actually almost an A. Do you know what I mean? Certain things will affect that. If someone is playing uh, in a, a, an instrument that is a transposing instrument, and I have to read it, and it's playing a different note than I'm reading, it really bothers me. If, if someone is um, singing out of tune, or, or I hear it in an interval that isn't su supposed to be what it's supposed to be, I, it almost gives me a stomach ache. You know what I mean? It's like, it's a physical thing. Yeah. Um, how did you like playing classical music compared to jazz? Well, Which it's, one it's, it's apples right. and oranges. Yeah. I like can't really, I, I love them both, you know, it's just like, uh, it's a hard thing to say because it, they're both so deep in, in me that I don't, it'd be like a Solomon question, how, how could I do that? The, the obvious answer to me is that, you know, the, the freedom of the spontaneous composition of jazz has always intrigued me, but also the re, um, treat, treating of classical pieces that I've played for 30 years like the Pathétique Sonata or the Beethoven or the um, uh, Chopin Fantasy. I mean, uh, I still find 
new phrasings. I still find new ways to to color with the pedal a certain thing, or or even a new fingering. Or s the the beauty to me of my my ability to play both styles of music fluently is that one influences the other. Many times I'll come across a section of classical music that I'm playing and just the mere technical thing of a particular phrase will spawn something not that it's mimicking it but it's just it evokes a feeling to me and I'll, sorry Jerry I hit the sorry. microphone uh, but it will I initiate something in my own creative process say for instance like a piece of Bartok or, or Hindemith uh, that it just I'm, I'm working on it, and all of a sudden, my mind just goes directly from that to like the creative part of me, and, and it'll be a jumping off place. So I, I feel very fortunate that I'm, I've been blessed to be able to play classical music. Yeah. Because it, and also the, the um, technique and discipline of classical music. See, I really believe, Yuha, that there is no freedom anywhere without discipline. And a lot of people, they shy away from the discipline. They want to go immediately to something free, and, and it's not substantiated by anything. Not that it really has to be, but you, know, you like to get down into the core and the basic uh, unit, the, the primordial ooze of what you're doing. And you can only do that by working with it and, and at it. Anyway, the, the beauty is that the, when you're playing classical music, you realize in the form of it and the development of this that when I'm soloing in jazz I'm a lot more attuned to the the attention to detail of the motifs that have been already stated by a composer like if you if you ever listen to to recordings of me a lot of times I'm quoting like a piece of Frank's or like with the last band from Utopia tour every night on a, my unaccompanied solo I do some sort of a quote in, in my solo on, uh, on uh, Yo Cats for the particular town we were in. Like, say, if, if we are at a college town or something, I'd play, you know, like, uh, the <laughs> whatever the fuck that tune is. Uh, it's, they play it at graduations. <laughs> anyway, you know, like, to, to make it personal. It, it, it's quoting is one of the, the most humorous things in music and a lot of people it goes over their head but and that's just an off the wall example anyway but I'm always impressed by certain motifs in a composition and I just don't want to blow a lot of notes I want to like say in a different way what the composer is always already said you have worked also as a solo pianist could you tell oh, me? much, much more. Yes, yeah. I, I'll talk about that. Yes, yeah. um, when I learned classical music, I realized the absolute independence and freedom of just playing the piano. Uh, the only way you could ever get more advanced than that is playing organ, which I also do. But organ is a different sound, and it's a different. There, there's not as much expression on organ, even though you have a volume pedal. Just the way the tone is created, it's different. So it's even though you can play your own bass, it's still not the same as piano. The piano is so subtle, it, it's so um, it's so rich in its overtones, and and the it's it's an incredibly subtle instrument, piano compared to organ. But anyway, to really play solo piano, I realized in my late teens that I would have to stretch my hand out to at least accommodate a tenth, the interval of a tenth. Uh, because just those two notes, they imply so much. And you don't have to play a lot of other notes with it. You can accompany yourself. And then when you start breaking it down to that tenth being a root, and then a couple of other notes besides the tenth, one or more notes, you can actually get some rhythms going that, that, account, that uh, approximate a track of a record or a band, you know what I mean, just with one hand. And then your right hand is free to, uh, to express yourself. Also, you know, polyphonic things uh, have always intrigued me. Independence of, the, of lines, linear uh, playing. But it would have not been to no avail if I had not played classical music. Like if I'm doing a walking bass, say, thing, like a Lenny Tristano 
sort of type of a thing. Uh, I would never have been able to have that freedom of that if I had not studied Baroque music, you know, like Bach and Handel, and even Bartok, you know.